Hello friends, it's John again. Uh, little unboxing that and a couple of else, other small things going on. Uh, I've got one package in the mail from the United States. I've got one from England that's sort of being detained right now at a certain facility. I'll see when I get it. <coughs> Out of the blue today. No forward warning. Tea totally unexpected. No idea what's inside. I get this in the mail from a dear friend of mine who lives over in Poland who goes by Delicious on these channels. Usually he'll let me know if something's coming. This and just kindly, boom, the surprise out of the blue. Well, I said I had a package. Well, it was one of the other two. No. Got one I wasn't expecting. Now one thing that spooked me a little bit, I don't know if you can see this here, customs declaration. I thought, ah oh, hell they got me on this one, excuse my language, but after talking to the one that sent it, he said they do these. They're just tacked on loose like this, and that's why I hadn't got uh, any of the others that uh, why well, they wouldn't know. They just slap them on like that and falls off going through the factory. That's fine. But the package looks absolutely unopened. It just kind of freaked me out a little bit. For my surgical precision while unboxing that, got a nice little four blade, or four blade count knife here. Uh, back a couple of years ago, uh, Glenn at Apple Stunt Butchcraft I want a drawing from him for some odds and ends. Well, he threw this in as a bonus. Got the sharp blade, a different style of can opener. I don't know if you can see that little lever, which I know it was a can opener, but I had to ask him to be sure when I want it. Uh, got a punch all here, a flat screwdriver, a bottle opener. Been a heck of a knife, and Glenn, I'm still taking care of it along with my collection. I bring it out and rotate the knives to, from people and tonight the ordinance number turned up. So, uh, I'm going to do a little unbox. I have no idea what it is. We're just going to play it as we go. So, let's roll with it and I'll try not to keep you too long tonight. So, the part of the plastic first. Mm. I'm to turn the box a little bit so I don't have to reach around the camera and bump it any more than I already have. And how does this box open? Get all the plastic off and be through with it. Uh, find out. Set that off to the side where I can keep his mail address. Uh, okay. We're going to open it from the end. Okay. We've got, I see a green bag I'm familiar with. Container. One thing uh, he does before I get to the meal, he makes his own honey, makes his own jam. If I remember right, uh, I think he sent me some homemade bread one time. It might have been store bought, but I got fresh honey, 2022. That come out of his hives, and most you know, uh, I love honey in my drinks, on crackers, on about anything. I go light on it due to being a diabetic, but that right there is worth as much to me as the meal. Now speaking of the meal, let's see what he come up with for me. And again, this is an absolute surprise. Normally he'll tell me if I've got something coming, but. Let's see. 
SR menu number nine. Mm -hmm. Hold on a minute, let me get my phone. I hate to do this to you, but hold on just a minute before I can get my translate. Well, friends, uh, translate's not working, but after I got looking in small print here, we have pasta, bolognese, we have luncheon meat, we got the special rust, crackers, biscuits, however you prefer to call it, uh, let's see, forest fruit flavored, instant tea, raspberry jam, fruit and cereal with fig flavor. We have chewing gum. We have coffee candies. He knows I love them. Uh, pepper, napkin, handkerchief, moisturized wet nap. Okay. Uh, toilet paper, uh, plastic zip bag, drinking straw, and do do do. Got a chemical heater, FRH. Theirs work a whole lot better than Americans do, friends. Delicious. That is very nice of you to do that. You didn't have to, but I thank you kindly. Uh, something else I've been wanting to do for a while. I'll still keep it short. Oh. Oscar sent me a care package back oh, a couple of months ago with a whole bunch of different snacks in it. I've eaten a few. I've showed a few on here. There's one that's always, I think, just from the way it feels, I know what it is, but I'm curious if it is and how well it held up. They feel solid. Normally these are very melty. On the outside, it says Oklahoma League, oops, Oklahoma League for the Line, August 1992, ration for one person for one day. And it says that all the way around. It, I'm probably wrong. But you remember the Charms candies that used to come in the. I can't even get it on camera the way I got my tripod set. I'm too far away. Remember the Charms candies used to come in survival rations, used to be in meals. Feels like there's three of them. And I probably just called it wrong, but just for the heck of it, I've been wanting to open these and see. Well, package looks right. Let's see if I call it. Mm. Yep, three packs of Charms. These are very good when they're not melted. And these feel very solid. I'm going to get this a little bit closer to me. I got my glasses on, but you know how I am with knives. As much as I love them, I still make a mistake. And if I get my hands too far away, I know I'm going to. Friends, look at this. Look at this. Absolutely solid, not melted. Oh, heck. While I'm sitting here talking, I'm going to get that lemon lime track. What did I say? It was packed in 92? Yep. Plastic just barely stuck to it. Get my plastic off. Plastic come off cleanly. Try to put it somewhere on something green. Usually, that's supposed to be yellow. It may not show up, but now does that tell you how good they are? You hear the crunch? Them's as fresh as the day they was made. All the other ones, I guess, they're all melted and stuck together and everything else. Oscar, I thank you for what you sent. I'm gradually working part of it in. Some of it, I'll shut up chomping here in a minute. Some of it, I'm just uh, 
using the snacks and not showed. I hope that's all right. So. One other thing I want to do, uh, thank you Delicious, thank you Oscar, thank you for the knife, Glenn. Uh, I'm going to scoop this aside just for a minute. Oh. Uh, Me and a friend of mine was talking today. Um, his name's John. Lives up in Canada. I know it'll hurt his reputation, but he's friends of CT. Um, <clears throat> he got a meal, and it had tropical punch flavored with no fruit juice. And I warned him ahead of time, good luck. Me and everybody else, we've been getting these here lately. It ends up with a slime on top. He also used the FRH. I warned him, they're weak. You're going to end up having to put it in boiling water. Well, guess what? His fruit punch was perfect. His FRH took off like a storm. And I told him I was going to get one of these and show him again, prove myself wrong. Show him what I've been getting. Now watch this and mix up just perfect. And this one's from, got to find my date code here. Uh, well, this is one of the fresh ones. It's 2020. Now, either I'm going to have a real good drink here, prove myself wrong, or I can show him what I was trying to explain. And I'm going to be able to prove to him what I was trying to explain. This done just like all the other ones do down here. So John, I hope you ain't checked John's MRE out. Uh, check him out. He's a good feller. Always puts out good content. Does a nice simple review. Very informative. John, this is what I was referring to today like this. It turns into a slime or an oil slick on top of the drink. So Now you know what I'm talking about. I figured with my luck, as soon as I done that, I'd get the first good one I've had in years. And that's no joke. I love the taste of Tropical Punch, but just like, well, I threw one pack away last night coming to meal because I knew this is what it would do. And I'm not the only one. Everybody else has been doing that. So, John, now you see what I was talking about. Uh, again, I'll get off here. Uh, thank you, Delicious, for this meal. I'll get to it very shortly. Uh, I'm not sure when. I've got a few I need to get out of the way. And found out another surprise. Uh, I've got another gentleman. I won't mention his name in case if something happens with the mail. But I said I had, excuse me, I had two meals tied up in shipping, uh, or, well, one in shipping and one in customs. The, uh, another friend messaged me earlier today and said he's got some he sent in the mail in the morning. Don't know what it is, but I, I thank you for that. I'll, when I do the unboxing, I'll mention your name, but I'm not going to put you under any pressure here now because the way my luck's been going with the mail, like I said, I'm surprised this come through, especially from overseas. But if you like what you see, you know, hit the thumbs up. A lot of people making comments, but nobody's leaving a thumbs up. It ain't going to help me out too much, but I'd appreciate it if you would. So, till the next time, it's Peace from Somerset, Kentucky. John, also known as Magnum. Uh, Y'all take care. Check on your friends. Watch as many reviews as I can. I try to watch as many as I can, but I still can't get them all. But if I missed yours, it's not because I'm trying. Peace. Talk to you later. Bye.